plugin actions are the same as plugin properties in that they change depending on what plugin you have in your project. For example, here we have a shape plugin inserted. So if I double click my page and go into the actions area and click on the add action button, you'll notice from the choose a category pull down that we now have a shape entry available here. Okay, there's additionally a plugin entry. If you look at the plugin entry, this is available no matter what plugins you have available in your project. It's a default set of actions and they relate to these basic functions we expect from any object. For example, the ability to set the size, um, set the position, and so forth at runtime. Okay, but what's more important is the shapes or the plugin specific actions, such as the shape actions here, which would allow us, in the case of a shape plugin here, to reset the type of shape, set the colors, set the fill mode, etc. at runtime. If we were to actually delete this plugin object, so I'm going to go ahead and press cancel here and delete our shape and insert a different plugin object, for example, a media player. And again, you can get the media player plugin for free from autoplay.org. I'll press OK and I'll put it out here. Now I'll double click on the page again and go into the actions area and choose the category pull down and you'll notice that the shape category is gone. Now we have a media player category instead. And this is because I removed the shape plugin and I added the media player plugin. So basically what you can do is you can treat plugin objects just like you would native objects. When you insert them, you'll notice that a category shows up for that object here in the uh, action wizard. And you can go through and work with the different actions for each plugin. Plugins are being added all the time, so actions are basically being created and customized for plugins as they're developed. So this is really great because the sky is the limit in terms of the type of power you can access from these plugins. If I go to the media player actions here, for example, you'll see there's a wide range of plugin actions for this plugin that allow you to control it and do a variety of things with it, the same as you would say with a video object. Okay, so I'm just going to press cancel to get out of here. And we'll go ahead in the next tutorial here and take a look at some examples of plugin actions.